<laughs> well, good morning and welcome to the English Language School. We are happy, happy, happy to have you here. In general, we are also just regular happy. We're also regular amounts of happy to have you here, mostly because you're beautiful, wonderful students. We like students who are beautiful and wonderful because they study and practice and it shows. And it shows. Anyways, we love you guys. Thank you so much. I apologize. I had a lot of coffee, lot of coffee today, <laughs> so there was a little bit of extra energy. But thank you very much for taking your time to be with us today. Thank you. Today we will continue level number one, unit number one, lesson number two, where we practice the verb to be, present tense, and how to use the verb to be. Before we begin, we will practice our irregular verbs. This is helpful because to be is an irregular verb. As always, when you practice, listen for the verb in the present and the past and make sure, it's the seguro, make sure to practice the pronunciation for yourself. Are we ready? Let's begin. Is, was, are, were, begin, began, blow, blew, break, broke. Build, built. Buy, bought. Catch, caught. Come, came. Cut. Cut. Do. Did. Draw. Drew. Drive. Drove. Eat. Ate. Fall, fell, feed, fed, find, found, fly, flew, get, Got. Give. Gave. Go. Went. Have. Had. Hold. Held. Keep, kept, know, knew, lead, led, leave, left, let, 
let make made mean meant meet met pay paid put put ride road run ran say said see saw sell sold send sent set Set. Sit. Sat. Sleep. Slept. Speak. Spoke Speed Sped Spend Spent Swim Swam Teach Taught Tell, told, think, thought, throw, through, win, one, write, wrote. Hello. Oh, well, hello. Hello again. Here we are. Fancy people. <laughs> Who is this weird kid in the video? Oh, you took it off. Anyways, so are we ready? Let's go. We are, as we said, let's go to our PowerPoint. We are on level number one, unit number one, lesson number dos, number two. In this lesson, we get to practice the verb to be and our contractions to be. Let's review. Hmm? Mm. To be is one verb that is very important in English. To be is a irregular verb. It means that the form in the past is not ed. So, for example, be in past, in pasado, in the past, is not beid, it's be. Or in was, it depends on the conjugation. So, for example, who are we talking about? What is our subject? We have to the right our different subjects. I, you, he, 
she, it, or things, we, e, ellos, they. So, for our subjects, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, we have this form of conjugation for the present tense. Present tense meaning right now, or something that is normal, routine, and true. Eso es la acción por otro día. Pero, if we talk about an activity that is normal, that is routine, or that is true, we will use the form in the present tense. Okay. I am. I'm. You are. Your. He is. He's. She is, she's, it is, it's, we are, we're, ooh, that one's a difficult one, let's practice again, we're, we're, mm -hmm. they are, they're, they're, let's listen again, they're. Mm -hmm. There. So, our conjugation, I am, I'm. We can use the long form, I am, or the short contraction, I'm, I'm. I am, I'm. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm. I am, I'm. Or you are, your. You are and your are equal. So it is your choice what you prefer. So from the beginning to the end, I'm, your, he's, she's, it's, we're, and there. All right, let's go to our next slide. This is where we finished yesterday. When we talk about age, hmm, how old are you? Hmm, how old are you? This is a question about age. How old are you? When you talk about age, we will always use the verb to be. For example, I am or I'm I'm 25. Okay. I'm 35. <laughs> I'm 35. She is Evie. She's 22. <laughs> so you'll see here in the dialogue, he says, hi. I'm Antonio. I'm Antonio. I am Antonio. She is. Ella. She is Maddie. She is Maddie. And then we have our contraction. I'm five and she's three. I'm five and she's three. With the age, you see only the number. I'm and she's. I'm five and she's three. Let's look at our next slide. Here we have a young lady, jovencita, a young lady. Here I want to know how old is she? How old is she? Who are we talking about? She. She is the subject. And what is the verb? The verb is, is, to be, is. Because we are talking about her age, we will use the verb is. She is. So now, 
como siempre, si está en la pregunta, está en la respuesta. Like always, if it is in the question, it is in the answer. So you'll see here in the question, hmm, how old, cuantos años, how old is she? For the answer, she's 25. She's 25. Equally, we can say she's 25 years old. We have two options to talk about age. She's 25, yeah, or she's 25 years old. We have a quick two options. She's 25 years old. Now, what we cannot say is, she is 25 years. This we cannot do. It's not a good option. Let's click and it should cross out. Yeah, this is not a good option. She is 25 old, mm -mm. 25 years, no. She is 25 old, no. This is 25, also no. Because we ask the question about she, we will use the word she in the answer. And with age, you only say the number or you give the, let's see, 25, or you say the number plus the word years, plus the word old. Years old, so 20, 25 years old, o solamente, or only 25. And that's it, no more. 25 years, no. 25 old, no. Only she is 25, or she is 25 years old. Let's look at our next slide. Here we have a building. A building is not a person, but it is a place. So because it is not a person, we will not say he or she. We will use the word it. It. All right, let's look. How old, cuantos años, how old is this building? Let's look at our answers. When we answer the question, we take our subject, this building, and our verb, is, and we put them in reverse. So, how old is this building? Well, this building is five years old. Do you see? I have here the number five and then the word years and then the word old. Five years old. How old is this building? This building is five years old. One option that we cannot use is this building is, oopsies, no, this building is five old. This building is five old. We cannot say that. Only old? Mm -mm. Also, we cannot say, this is cool. This building is five years. Also, we cannot say this building is five years. We must use the combination. This building is five years old or this building is five years or just five. Not enough. I think we have one more. Not sure. Yeah. Cool. Bless. Do, 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 Hi! <laughs> How old are you? How are you? Oopsies. 
How are you? Maybe you do not know the person and you want to ask them a question about their age. <laughs> and you say, hey, what's up? How old are you? <laughs> you married? <laughs> Sarah? What's the situation? <laughs> don't people do that though? People do do that. Like a lot. Like I don't yeah. know what their problem is. Like, bro. Mi vida privada. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Sarah, how are you? You know what? You're so beautiful. I am very caffeinated. <laughs> I am very good. I'm very good. How are you? Hey, how are you? Like we studied in the lessons before yesterday and on Monday, when we want to talk to somebody casually, very relaxed, not professional, but just hmm, relaxed. When we want to speak to someone casually and relaxed, we will talk about these different forms to say, hi, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Right? How's it going? How's it going? You see with the contraction, it's how's, how's it going? How's it going? And the last one, hey, how's it been? Hey, beautiful Evie, how's it been? Oh, it's been wonderful. Did you hear her? She said, it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. We will say it's because it is in the question. As per usual, if you see it in the question, you will repeat it in the answer. Let's go to our next slide. I think, yes, no. We have a video. Oh, we have a video. Excuse me, my apologies. We have a video. Video. <laughs> uh, the video is on to be question. Writing's not that easy. What? Greetings, vocabulary. Greetings and, and vocabulary with phrases. <laughs> we were both prepared. Oh gracious, we don't have much time. All right, this will be a good one. This gentleman, Dave Skonda, speaks very slow. So pay attention and practice and repeat the words that he says. Are we ready? Let's go. Greeting is hi, but Try to say it with some intonation. Hi, hi, hi. We also have hello, but try not to make it short and low like hello. Give some intonation to it. Hello, hello, hello. This gives a feeling to the other person like you are glad to see them. Now, if we're very informal or more informal, we could say hey. I see somebody I know, I can say, hey. It's very common to say that. Also give it that intonation. Um, somebody that I'm very close friends with, and younger people use this, is yo. Yo, yo. They'd say like, yo, what's up? Or, yo, what's happening? You know, it's very friendly, it's very positive, but it's only for somebody who you're very good friends with, and mostly younger people use that. After you say hello or hi, and you want to make some small talk, you can say, how are you? How's it going? How have you been? Now, try to say it like this. How are you? How are you? 
How's it going? Notice how I reduce it. How's it going? How have you been? How have you been? Notice the intonation that I use. Try to use that intonation or something similar because it shows that you're interested in the other person and you have positive feelings towards the other person. If the person that you say hello to is a friend or somebody who, you're, who you know and you're comfortable with, you can use these phrases. What's new? What's up? What's happening? What's going on? But say them like this. What's new? Hey, what's new? Hey, John, what's up? What's happening? What's going on? Show some enthusiasm with these, ins with these expressions. But remember, these are casual expressions, and you should only use them with people who you are very friendly with. A more formal way to greet somebody is to say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on the time of day. But remember, this is formal. If you don't know the person, now, to make it casual, some people will say morning, morning, meaning good morning, or afternoon, evening. Not many people say afternoon or evening. Most people will just say morning, and then they'll just say hi or hello to you in the afternoon. Intonation, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ah, here we are. Are we real friends? If we are, you should say hi and hello and hey. Maybe you want to say yo or something like that. I don't know. I'm cool with that. Are you cool with that? She I'm says cool. she's cool with that. Yeah. That's what we're here for, to be cool with it. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm with it. I'm with it like a... I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> All right, so if we have, uh, if we are ready, I think it's time for us to do a reading. We are ready to go with a reading. Thank you guys for being patient. Now, if you have any questions about the verb to be, about the greetings, the things that we covered in the class today, please write your comments and questions in the comment section below, or you can send us an email in your Google Classroom. So you will have the ability to view this lesson and review everything on your own. Okay, are we ready? Let's read. He goes to class. There is an empty seat in front. He sits in the seat. He looks around. There are different people. He says, I, to the girl next to him. She smiles. The teacher comes in. She closes the door. Everyone is silent. The first day of school begins. <clears throat> All right, let's try again. He goes to class. There is an empty seat in front. He sits in the seat. He looks around. There are different people. He says hi to the girl next to him, next to him. She smiles. The teacher comes in. She closes the door. 
everyone is silent. The first day of school begins. All right. Do we have any questions about the meaning of some of these words? Let's look maybe at the first word, empty. Empty, it means that there is nothing there. In beautiful Evie, you're so smart. When you have no gasoline in your car, huh? Huh? When you have no gas in your car, it's not full, it's empty. This morning, after I ran and exercised, my stomach, it grumbled and made a noise because it was empty. <laughs> when you have nothing in it, oh, good example. My coffee cup is empty. There's nothing in it. Well, there's water, but there's no coffee and that's what's important. There's nothing in it, empty. So your car is, no está llena, está vaso. Empty. Vacía. Vacía. Mm -hmm. Well, mi vaso está vacía. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so my glass is empty. My car is empty with gas. My brain is empty with space and energy. My time is empty. The classroom is empty. Now, here, if you say, ah, hay una silla disponible. If there is a seat that is available, we say that the seat is empty, or we have an empty seat. Mm -hmm. All right, now, he sits in the seat and he looks around. Look is to see something, right? But you pay attention. So maybe I look, 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 all the way around. But I look around is like to observe. We may say observe, como observar, or equally, we may say look around. Mm -hmm. There are different people. He says hi. She smiles. To smile. You have your pearlies. You smile. Smile is the verb. So I smile. You smile. He, she, and it smiles. With the S at the end for the third person singular. So I smile, you smile, we smile, but she, but she smiles with the S at the end. All right, the teacher comes in. Now, to come in is like to enter. So we can say enter, or come in. Pero necesitamos los dos come y lo veo in. Come in. So she enters or she comes in. But look, again, we have the S in the termination because we have the third person singular. So she comes in. It comes in. The teacher comes in. She closes the door. So maybe I have over here, I have a book. In my book, I can open my book and I can close my book. Open, close. Open, close. <laughs> I close my book. But if we talk about the third person singular, ella, she closes with the S termination at the end. 
everyone. Now, everyone is todo el mundo. Everyone, all of the people in the room. Everyone is silent. And the first day of school begins. All right, good job, guys. Do we have any other questions about the words in this reading or the pronunciation? No? Miss Evie, do you have any commentary? Hmm. I don't think so. This was a good reading today. Yeah, I like the intonation. Hi, Judy Girl X Gen. Hi. Uh, even over here you will see it. Wait, the first day of school? First day of school is a thing. And you still see the S at the end. Oh, my. Ah, oh, begins. Yeah, so we go into it. It oh. can still be with an it. It could be with an it. That's yeah. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Without any further questions, she did have a good note. Let's go to the quiz. We will put the words in order. Now, next week, we will practice our word order. Who, what, where, when, how, and why. What is the correct word order for a sentence? Here, we will practice the scrambled sentence and put the words in the correct order. Are we ready? Let's start. Is there unseat empty? Whew. Is there unseat empty? It's a lot. Okay, so what's our subject? Who are we talking about? Well, we're not really talking about anyone, but we have a thing. And so we can say something like, there is. This is something that we get to practice in the next class, I think. <laughs> the next class we talk about there is and there are. If you have something singular, one thing, we can use the word there is. There is. There is an empty seat. There is an empty seat. Mm -hmm. There is an empty seat. So what is there? Que hay? A seat. En que tipo de silla? What type of seat? An empty seat. So, our sentence order should be, there is an empty seat, period. There is an empty seat. And let's check. 100%. Woo! 100% very good. We do like 100% here. Okay. Now, let's look at our next one, question number two. Okay, in he sits seat the. In he sits seat the. Mm -hmm. So, who are we talking about? I see a pronoun here, Sarah. Oh, I see a, I see a subject. I see a pronoun. He. I see he. He. Guess in. What is he doing? He's, aha. Sits. Do you see the S? We will put the S because we have the third person, singular. He sits. But where? Where does he sit? He sits in the seat. He sits in the seat. Period. Let's check. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent job. 100%. All right, let's go to 
Number three, he sits in the seat, 100% imperfect. Cafe. All right. Something, something, there are, there different people are. There different people are. There different people are. So, similar to there is, when you have a one thing or something sim singular, we say, mm, I, there is. But if you want to talk about something plural, we'll say, I como, there are, there are. All right. There different people are. There are, and que hay, what are there? People. There are people. Aha. But what kind of people? Get people. What kind of people? Different. different people. There are different people. There are different people. Let's take a period. Now you notice that with this sentence, there are different people. The word different is our adjective. It adds some description to the word people. What type of people? Different people. So, we must use the word different before the word people. There are people different? No. There are different people. Because different is our adjective to describe the people. Let's check. 100%. 100%. Excellent job. Well done. Excellent. All right. This is the last one. Question number five. Nope. Question number four. Sarah can keep track. Next to last one. Dos más. Question number four. Mm-hmm. Teacher, the in comes. Ooh, this is a good one. Teacher in the come. Okay. So who? The teacher. And what does the teacher do? The teacher, Indrase, she comes in. The teacher comes in. The teacher comes in. Okay? The teacher comes in. Excellent. 100%. All right. One more. Now, one more. Now we have question number five. Okay. The of day first begins school. The of day first begins school. Okay. Now, what is our subject? The day. But now, what kind of day? Maybe the day of school. But wait, what kind of day of school? <laughs> the first day of school. In this case, this is the point beautiful Miss Evie made earlier. When you have a day 
A day is a thing that is singular, a singular thing, right? So when you have a day, like the day of school, for example, it is our subject. So the first day, first day of what? Why the first day of school? The first day of school. Now the first day of school, what? It begins. Because we are talking about a thing or a day, we will use the third person singular. So the first day of school begins. You see the S because it is not a person, but we do have a thing. The first day of school begins. Let's check. Excellent. 100%. For those of you who have a question about the reading, the word order, or the verb to be, our practice or our contractions, Write your comments in the section below or send us a note on our Google Classroom. For those who want to practice their verbs, the conjugation, the pronunciation, or you want to practice with some homework, never fear, we have homework for you. We have homework for you in your Google Classroom, so log in, write us a note, make sure to practice, watch the videos, listen to the pronunciation, and get in your practice. You will really enjoy it, I promise. So thank you, thank you, thank you all for your time and your patience. You are beautiful and wonderful students, more than we deserve. Make sure to stay home and stay safe, and don't forget to practice, 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 because practice makes perfect. Thank you.